What's up guys? This is Kyle Fonger from Vapor Hut, driven by you, fueled by vapor. And today, we're going to be looking at one of our newest mechanical mods, the Grunt. Tatro's last mod was the Big Nasty, a 26650. The Grunt is a dual 18650. This thing lasts forever. The batteries are hooked up in parallel, which means you're drawing from both, so they're gonna go down at the same rate, and your volts will be whatever one battery would be. So both batteries are at 4.2, fully charged. You're gonna be firing 4.2 volts. This fully mechanical mod is made out of a single piece of 6061 aircraft grade aluminum. So let's go ahead and cut to the close up and I'll show you all the parts of this thing. Here is the grunt. Got a nice brushed finish on it. You see the flask shape. This is the uh, Fat Daddy 510 floating pin. See this, I don't know if it's a Delrin, but it's some kind of plastic. It's a firm, it's a firm button, so you're never gonna like misfire this, but it's a short. So you're not having to press it in very far to fire it. It's engraved with the Tatro Mods logo, also has the serial number. Just an all around beautiful device. And I'm just loving this shape of the flask. Any way I hold this in my hand, it's comfortable. This padding on your hand fits right into that. And I can fire it just like that. I can do it this way, and my hand wraps around that uh, curved outer part, and I use my thumb. It's just an awesome feeling device in your hand. In the bottom, we have two cylinders for the 18650 batteries and you can just use a, uh, any kind of needle nose pliers to unscrew this or a coin of some kind. So let's go ahead and open these up and I'll show you inside. Inside you have a copper contact for the positive end of the battery and on the bottom you have a brass contact for the negative side of the battery. And with your batteries running in parallel, this thing lasts forever. If they were in series where you double the volts, you wouldn't notice much of a difference. It'd just be more powerful. But in parallel, you're getting your normal mech mod vaping experience with a low voltage drop and twice the battery life. With this device, the average voltage drop is between 0.2 and 0.4 volts, which is a pretty standard, pretty average. If you do get down to the 0.15 ohm, range, so anywhere between like a 0.18 and a 0.12 or 0.13, uh, the voltage drop does increase to 0.8, which is uh, a little bit, but I'm not running anything that low currently. So let's go ahead and throw an RDA on here and see how it vapes. One thing about this device is you will need flat top batteries in order for it to work. I found that with some of my 18650s that I've been using in the Fuhatten that has the non-adjustable pin, it compresses the top of the battery a little bit and it causes it to not make contact in this. So you will need flat top batteries. So positive goes in first with negative on the bottom. And just so you know, you can run this device in single battery mode. Uh, it works just fine. Basically the only difference and the vaping experience is uh, your battery life. With 118650, you're getting the same volts. Uh, it's just not gonna last as long. So before I put the Mutation XV2 on the grunt, I wanted to check the ohms and make sure we're around that 0.2 range, which is above the 0.15, where we're gonna see that 0.8 voltage drop. Um, so here we are, it's a 0.19, and this, build is a single Clapton using 20 gauge nichrome and 32 gauge canthal and it's hammered with uh, four wraps. Just so you guys know this is a fully mechanical mod 
So there is no safety check, there is no regulation on what ohms you can fire down to, which means battery safety is a must. I'm using a 35 amp EFES, the purple batteries, right now, which means that I can go down to 4.2 divided by 35. I can go down to 0.12 ohms safely. I'm at 0.19, so we're good. To figure out the wattage, or how many watts you're pulling on your mechanical mod device, all you have to do is take your volts of a freshly charged battery, 4.2, square it, and divide by the resistance. So mine's a 0.19. So right now, I'm pulling 92.8 watts from this device. I'm gonna juice her up with a little Vapor Hut Rope Bomb. One of my favorite flavors. All right, so I got my Mutation X V2 on the grunt. Let's see how she fires. That's awesome. Let's see how she vapes. Wow, just chucking the clouds. That's awesome. Hope you guys have enjoyed this review of Tatro's newest mod, The Grunt. This has been Kyle with Vapor Hut, driven by you, fueled by Vapor.